From St Anne's Library, Simon Lee reads A Christmas Carol, based on a story by Charles Dickens and retold by Leslie Sims. Once upon a Christmas Eve, Scrooge was counting money. Ebenezer Scrooge. A greedy, grasping, gruesome old man, so cold inside his face looked frozen. He cared for no one, and now his old friend Marley was dead, no one cared for him. His clerk, Bob Cratchit, shivered in their icy office. Might we light a fire, sir? Certainly not, said Scrooge. Two gentlemen came by collecting for the poor. Let them starve, Scrooge sneered. Then a red-nosed cow singer tried his luck. Be off with you, snapped Scrooge. Merry Christmas, said Bob Cratchit as they left that night. Bah, humbug, said Scrooge. Scrooge was heading for bed when every bell in his house started to ring. Who's there? Scrooge asked in a quavery voice. Scrooge, came the ghostly reply. Scrooge. Marley, said Scrooge, is that you? Change, Change your ways or pay the, the consequences, consequences, warned Marley's ghost. I cared only for money, moaned Marley. Now money and misery are my only company. Clank, clank, chains and cash boxes for all eternity. With a dreadful wail of torment, Marley turned to go. Wait! Scrooge cried. What is this to do with me? Tonight you will be visited by three ghosts. Listen to them and you may save yourself. <laughs> what nonsense! said Scrooge. On the stroke of one, Scrooge woke to see a spirit staring at him. Who, who, who are you? Scrooge stuttered through chattering teeth. I am the I ghost am of Christmas, Christmas past. past. Rise, Rise and walk, and with, walk me. with me. They floated to a deserted schoolroom where a lonely boy sat hunched in gloom. That poor boy is me, murmured Scrooge in surprise. Oh, I wish I'd given the carol singer something. With a whirl and a twirl, they were off to a dance. It's my old boss, Fezziwick. He knew how to throw a Christmas party, cried Scrooge. And was that Scrooge's sweetheart from so many years ago? I cannot marry you, she wept. Ebenezer, you only love money. No more memories, shouted Scrooge. And he slammed down the ghost's hat hard on his head. The ghost sank into the floorboards with a sigh. The clock struck again and a second ghost appeared. Merry Christmas, Scrooge! I am the ghost of Christmas present. Celebrate with me! Scrooge and the spirit soared through the air, seeing Christmas joy wherever they went. It lit up the night like stars in the sky. In grand houses all around town, people were eating, drinking and making merry. Even the Cratchits, with a simple meal for their Christmas feast, were full of cheer. God bless everyone, said Tiny Tim, the youngest. He looks pale, thought Scrooge. Is he ill? The spirit's response echoed in his head. If things go on as they are, he won't see another Christmas. Somewhere, a clock chimed and the spirit faded away. As Scrooge shivered in darkness, he saw a hooded phantom coming closer. Are you the ghost of Christmas yet to come? asked Scrooge. The phantom said nothing but pointed a bony finger. A group of men were talking about someone. He's dead and good riddance. No one will miss him. No one liked him. Who is this man? Scrooge asked. This unfortunate, unmourned soul. 
the spirit stayed silent, his bony hand pointing to a gravestone. Trembling, Scrooge read the name engraved upon it and looked at the spirit in horror. No, he begged. Don't let me die. I can change. I will change. He ran to clutch the spirit's arm and it turned into his bedpost. I'm alive, he shouted, leaping for joy. Alive! Scrooge raced to his window. What's today, boy? Christmas Day, of course. Buy me the biggest goose you can find, Scrooge ordered. And hurry! The boy was soon back. Scrooge chuckled with glee. I'll send it to the Cratchits. What a surprise they'll have. Everyone had a surprise, for Scrooge did change. What was more, from that day on, he kept Christmas in his heart all year round. The end. And from all of us at Harrogate Libraries, a very Merry Christmas. <laughs>